can use. So when we look at using our rules of exponents, basically we have log base 2 of 8 times x. So what you guys see is this, my 8 and x are being separated by multiplication. Therefore, I can now separate these by using addition. So I can rewrite this as log base 2 of 8 plus log base 2 of x. That's just by applying the rules of exponents that I just showed you guys. Does everybody see that? So we don't have to put n? No, you're re just rewriting. It's just instead of m times n, you have 8 times x. Yes? yes. Uh, I'll, I think I have something I can address your question in a second. However, we're not done with this problem. Um, the next thing on this problem is you guys can see we need to understand what a logarithm represents, Erica. And so when we see this, we see that we have log base 2 of 8. So it's important for you guys to understand what exactly do logarithms represent? What do they mean? So when you guys look at this, remember log base 2 of 8 says 2, Jack, raised to what power gives you 8? And do we know 2 raised to what power gives you 8? Close. 3 plus log base 2 of x. OK? So when you're, when you're looking at the logarithms, I think what I was trying to adjust